Okay, let's talk about market trends for 2023. The current demand for housing is not expected to change, especially in our area, which is, um, you know, it's kind of good, but not kind of good. Um, so you can take that for what it's worth. I mean, if you're thinking about selling, it's a great thing because people are going to want your home. But let's talk about the things that um, that buyers are really looking for, because this is what I'd like for you to keep in mind while you're watching this video. Buyers in the market today um, are going to be stretched financially. Um, there, you know, the of course the interest rates have risen, which everybody knows that. But now they are looking into making some changes to um, the lending realm, which is going to really, really. Um, affect a lot of buyers in the market. They are actually going to, they're considering changing the debt to income ratio to be much lower than what it, um, what it is allowed to be today. So um, these buyers that do qualify and come to the table, they're not going to have a lot of extra money to be able to make little, little changes in the home. So this is what I will present to you. If you are looking to make some little changes, maybe put a little wow factor in your home like I talked about um, in my video a couple weeks ago, um, maybe consider what would be most appealing to them. So we all know that today's buyer um, loves any kind of smart home technology. So whether it's a light switch that you put in um, to be able to control that light switch with your phone, Maybe if you're going to replace some outlet, um, you know, outlet covers or outlets, um, it's using some USB ports that can also be plugged into the outlet. That would be a good thing. Energy efficient appliances, those are really good. People like to see that, you know, you have water saving dishwasher and water saving washer. I don't know why, because it takes them forever to run, but I mean, I guess it does help the environment. So we'll be environmentally friendly in this video. Of course, any of the video surveillance stuff that's, um, that's controlled by your phone. So that would be maybe a good thing to, um, to install if you don't already have a security system. Um, might bring a little bit of confidence to the buyer to buy in that market. Anything that would allow the home buyer to control um, that, that service in the home with their phone is going to be great. So if you're thinking about doing some of those upgrades anyway, then maybe consider, you know, kind of going with the smart technology. Another thing that we are seeing is, um, you know, the, the, growth of suburban and rural areas. In my area here in the upstate of South Carolina, the, the more rural you go, um, you know, sometimes the harder it is to have high speed internet access. So if you are in a rural area and you're thinking about selling your home, that would be a great thing to check out. Um, you may not have high speed internet because you may not need it um, for what you use your internet for but it would be a wonderful, wonderful um, thing to for your agent to put in the listing because that is going to be, um, you know, it'll be a deal breaker to a lot of people, honestly, but it's much better to know up front uh, before you get that contract on your home and get all excited and start packing and getting ready to move and then find out that the buyer works from home and they have to have that high speed internet or their children do, do online schooling and they have to have that high speed internet and then they have to um, practice their due diligence and walk away from the contract because of that. So just make sure to check that out up front and, um, and if you either currently have high speed internet or if you are in an area that would support high speed internet, make sure to put that out there. The other thing that they are looking for is sustainable items in the home. So, of course, that's going to be solar panels, um, you know, energy efficient appliances, things like that. So, when it comes to the solar panels, right, that's kind of a, um, you got to find a good balance there. Because if your solar panels were just installed and there's a lease on those panels, um, then it's going to take a while for that buyer to really be able to see the savings 
more than likely because they're going to have the payment. Um, so if you're a seller and you have the solar panels on your house and you've been there for a long time and the solar panels are paid for, then this would absolutely be something that you want to um, make sure is advertised in your listing because that will just continue to save the new, home, the new owner of the home money um, in the upcoming years and time that they're there. You know, if you're thinking about replacing an appliance anyway, I would say definitely go with an energy efficient appliance because, um, you know, the like I stated before, the buyers coming to the table are going to be financially stretched if these new lending practices come into play. Anything that you can do to help them, like I mentioned in some of my other videos um, in the recent weeks, They've been really seller focused, um, but that's just because I, you know, I'm glad to give this information to, for sellers to put homes on the market that are going to be most beneficial to the buyers because that's going to, it's going to keep the market moving and that's what we need to do. But even painting your home, you know, if you've got um, what we refer to in the real estate business as an Easter egg home then, um, you know, you have several different colors painted in several different rooms. That's fine because that's your preference. But maybe um, consider painting just a neutral color throughout the home prior to listing. That is going to allow the buyer um, to come in and see the blank canvas. So no matter what their decorating preference is, if you have a good neutral color throughout your home, they're going to be able to see their items there because that's the benefit of neutral colors. Some of these buyers we have in the market today are just not. They're just, they're not equipped to do the things that um, maybe us, us people that have been in homes for a long time are able to do, you know, change out faucets and, um, I mean, I'm sure they can paint a room, but they don't want to. Um, so, you know, if you're getting ready to list your house this spring, because of course it is a great time to list your house in the springtime, um, and with the shortage of inventory that we have, um, putting a home out there that is move-in ready is going to be your best friend right now because we do have buyers putting everything they have just into purchasing the home with home prices still being elevated um, and also the changes that are happening in the lending realm. Uh, and if you are thinking about listing, you may want to take some time and go through my last um, two or three videos on my seller playlist because there is a lot of good information as to how to get your home ready. And of course, if I can help you, feel free to call me at 864-617-5450 or you can shoot me an email that is um, located below.